Hi all, welcome uh, to this video. I'm going to be walking through the introductory steps on computer science and software engineering as a whole. My background in this field is I'm a mid-level developer working in C-sharp.net stack with, with either, well, with varied experience with Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services. So I'm quite a, uh, a man of many hats, if you will. So let's let's uh, let's walk into this, okay? So if we want to really break down the key differences between a software engineer, as you see on the left, and a programmer, as you see on the right, these roles are often seen as a similar, but they they have unique responsibilities to themselves at least um and the focuses of each set sets them apart but that sounds weird um so as an overview right let's start with a software engineer a software engineer is simply just someone who codes who writes code. They apply engineering principles like solid, for example, to the entire software development process, such as planning and managing large scale software projects. So if we go down a bit, oh, if I can remember how to use this tool. <laughs> so we have our programming skills and a software development process that follow in. So let's start with this. A software engineer has programming skills. So software engineers themselves are also responsible for system design, ensuring that software architecture is scalable and efficient. And additionally so, they often take on varied project management roles. So collaborating with team members to be able to guide a project from um, start to finish. So a software engineer also focuses on system design. So On how do I want to explain this that would uh, make it seem easier to talk? So on the other hand, that a software hand has, software engineer has, they have their role to uh, and their focus on writing code by translating specific design specifications and project requirements into functioning code that performs specific tasks like receiving a work project from a ticket from a reporter and then taking the description and the acceptance criteria beyond that and then following it through from reading and understanding all the way into how are they going how they are going to implement it as a feature or a bug fix or so on so forth uh, whether it compromises into different sub sub genres of tickets um, cool. So a programmer might work on system design as a part of a team. Their primary job is coding and creating software solutions. Programmers also collaborate with team members to integrate their code with other parts of the project. But they may not be involved in the broader aspects of software planning and architecture. So a soft a Christ <laughs> a programmer focuses on coding or they would require strong coding skills. So a software engineer looks at the project with a bigger picture in mind, handling everything from architecture to collaboration, while a programmer will be primarily focused on actually coding. 
So, in conclusion, understanding this sort of the differences between these two roles can help you decide which path aligns with how you want to project, have your career trajectory take off. As I, I imagine, if you're if you have found this video and you are watching it, you are either interested in how this process works at a, at a semi high level uh, or at a quite a high level is in the way I'm trying to explain this. Or you are some at some point in your life where you are looking to attend university and computer science is in mind or you are looking at a boot camp for to learn software engineering and that is in mind as well. So whether you aim to build in the future in the future to build comprehensive software systems as a software engineer or specialize in writing code as a programmer, both are crucial to the success of any development team. So oh, if I zoom out here, you can sort of have a high level understanding of how this all works and how each node connects to each other and how they can kind of interlock. So this is more just an, an introductory video of kind of how the following will come on diving deeper into the software engineering process and exploring what it takes to manage a project from start to finish. Um, and I will throw this in, shameless uh, as it is. Uh, if you may, don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope this was a successful watch for you and you found it helpful. Good night.